Hey guys, so breastfeeding and formula. Uh, this is something uh, really just outside of veganism as well, but also within veganism um, that I think is is misunderstood and can lead to some pretty dire consequences, particularly uh, when it comes to vegans who think that, you know, not only that breast is best, but that formula is just the devil <laughs> and that soy formula is, oh my God, just the worst thing ever. What is the, the myth that it's like, giving your kid five birth control pills a day or something like that. It's so ridiculous. One of those Mercola myths, you know, natural news kind of things. Uh, yeah, so I figured I would cover that. So first off, breastfeeding. Um, you've probably heard breast is best. Uh, that is, that does seem to be true, that breastfeeding does have certain advantages over formula feeding, but many of the supposed advantages, uh, the, these claims, um, just aren't borne out in the evidence. They just don't have any solid evidence to support them, like uh, the claim that breastfeeding lowers the risk for type 2 diabetes when compared to formula feeding, or that it lowers the risk for colic. Uh, there's a great website that I highly recommend checking out called expectingscience.com. Uh, this is a quote from her article, breastfeeding benefits, the real, the imagined, and the exaggerated. Nearly all the alleged long-term benefits are likely the result of confounding, not breastfeeding. Better designed studies find only a handful of real benefits, a reduced chance of severe gastrointestinal infections, and a lower risk of eczema during infancy, and perhaps a small boost in childhood IQ. So that's it in terms of like benefits for the baby, but there are also lots of claims about breastfeeding uh, being being great for the mother as well, uh, some of which are subjective and some of which are true. Again, like breast is best, it's probably true, but it's not as best <laughs> as many people believe. I'll probably title this video, Breast is Barely Best, <laughs> Barely Better, something like that. I don't know, you've seen the title already. Uh, but one of those claims is that uh, breastfeeding leads to tons of weight loss. It makes uh, getting rid of the baby weight so easy when you breastfeed versus formula feed. And again, it's it's true, but it's like barely so. By six months postpartum, this is according to the evidence, you can expect one to two more uh, pounds of weight loss than a mom who formula feeds. The reasons for this, it could be due to um, uh, over, you know, compensating. So uh, you see this a lot just in terms of weight loss in general and exercising. People exercise and they're like, oh man, I probably burned like 500 calories during that 30 minute workout. No, you totally didn't. And then they end up eating, you know, 600 calories. And it's like, well, now you ate 100 more calories than you burned, even if you did burn the 500, which you probably didn't, you probably burned like 200 calories. So now you've, oh gosh, that's terrible. So it could be one of those cases. P women know, um, you know, you're supposed to, you burn about 400 to 500 excess calories uh, a day when you breastfeed. So of course women know this now. And so maybe they are eating uh, a little bit more than 400 or 500 calories, uh, thinking that, man, I'm burning all these calories breastfeeding. Um, another thing could be Hormones, prolactin production, uh, prolactin regulates uh, milk production, and prolactin is also apparently a pretty intense uh, appetite stimulator. So you may just be like really, really hungry. Also could be lack of sleep. Again, affects certain hormones like leptin and whatnot uh, that could uh, affect your appetite and make you hungrier. Speaking of lack of sleep, uh, this is something that is uh, apparently a downside of breastfeeding. This is something that you don't really hear much about. It's breast is best and that's it. <laughs> you don't really hear about any of the uh, pros and cons, maybe, you know, potential pros of formula feeding. Well, this apparently is one of them. Uh, formula fed babies sleep better. Almost without exception, studies on formula feeding, breastfeeding, and sleep find that breastfed babies wake up more often than formula fed ones at night, and breastfeeding mothers therefore get less uninterrupted nighttime sleep. Another potential downside uh, has to do with vitamin D, and this is something that I just learned about, I think like a few weeks ago. You know, I've read so much stuff on pregnancy and breastfeeding, all of that stuff over the last like year, um, and I just discovered this, and it's this is concerning to me because this is pretty fucking important. If you breastfeed, you are supposed to uh, supplement vitamin D for your baby because our milk 
for most of us, just does not have enough vitamin D in it. And if you don't, your baby can get rickets. Ooh, fun, right? Um, whereas formula, of course, already has vitamin D. You give the formula, you don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, so they have these liquid, you know, vitamin D drops that you can uh, give to your baby or uh, some people, if they're bottle feeding, they put it in the bottle. Some people, I think, put it directly on their nipples before they breastfeed. Uh, there are different ways you could do it, but apparently it's an issue because a lot of women, they either don't know or they know and they forget. A lot of women are not doing this, even though they are breastfeeding exclusively for you know several weeks or several months. Um, the AAP guidelines are for at least the first six months you are supposed to breastfeed exclusively. So yeah, that is a problem. And again, <laughs> kind of a pro for formula feeding, right? It's already in the formula. You just give it to them and that's it. You don't have to worry about it. Now, there are a couple of studies, one that came out, I believe last year, that have found that if women just increase their own vitamin D uh, supplementation, the amount of vitamin D that they consume, um, then they their babies can get enough. Uh, I believe the women in this one study, they were getting 6,400 international <laughs> units a day, so a lot more than the 400 to 600, you know, recommendation. Um, and they found that their levels, that the baby's levels, uh, again, they were breastfeeding, that the baby's levels were basically the same as the babies who were given the 400 IUs directly, which is what the AAP recommends. Um, so that obviously <laughs> would be easier, right? If you were breastfeeding, if you can just, I mean, I would much rather just take a supplement myself than have to worry about giving it to my baby every day directly. But as of right now, that those are not the guidelines. Again, the guidelines are to give the 400 to the baby directly. Uh, I think that I think formula has an advantage there. Maybe that's just me. Um, finally, just another kind of uh, myth, I guess, is the breastfeeding is free myth. Um, what? <laughs> I mean, I literally, I looked at the sub to be sure, and I found a couple sites that are like, it is free, zero dollars, and it does not cost you anything. And it's like, well, even if you don't get the breast pump, which now, I mean, insurance covers it. Thanks, Obama. Like, unironically, thank you, Obama. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so for most of us, we get the, the breast pump for free. Um, you know, but the, the bottles obviously cost money. And uh, but but let's say, you know, you're, you're not going to, you're not going to bottle feed. You don't have to. You're not going back to work or anything, or you just don't want to. Okay, fine. There's still nursing bras. I think most of us, many of us need nursing bras. I certainly do. I uh, have obviously larger chest. I mean, you guys have seen before. Um, I can't just use, you know, some women are more fortunate. They have smaller chests and maybe they can get just like cheapy things or they already have something that they can use. I know some women just like cut holes in their bras or whatever. Um, I need something more supportive than that. And it's not cheap. <laughs> it's really not cheap. I never spend less than like $50 for a bra. Typically my bras are like $70. Sucks. So that's, a, I, it's already cost me money. Breastfeeding has already cost me money, right? Um, nursing pads as well. You can go with the, the reusable ones or the disposable ones. Either way, it's going to cost you money. Ointments and whatnot for uh, cracked nipples, which is very, very common. Um, some women just use like coconut oil. I think supposedly that works, but still, still costs you money. Vitamin D supplement for the baby. Again, giving vitamin D to your baby, 400 international units a day, that costs money. Um, and that's not something you have to do with formula. It's already in the formula. Um, and then there's, a, I mean, there's so many other products, right? Marketed towards uh, nursing women. You've got the nursing pillows, which some women say are just absolutely a necessity. They couldn't breastfeed without it. And some women are like, it's nice, but whatever. And some women are like, I hated it. I just use pillows. So I, I don't know who knows. Um, and then again, the, the, the breast pump and bottles and milk storage bags. I mean, there are so many products for breastfeeding. I mean, I would love to know if there is any woman, at least in the developed world that has not spent some sort of money uh, for breastfeeding. I would be really surprised. So breastfeeding, it's really not free. And that doesn't even take into account time and how you value your time. Um, that's going to be different from person to person. Um, but it actually may not be cheaper either. I think in most cases it would be. But again, if you're breastfeeding, you have to consume 400, 500 extra calories a day. Uh, depending on what where you are getting those calories from i mean if you are getting those calories from really expensive foods you could 
conceivably you could end up spending more on that food than you would have if you had used formula. Um, again, I don't think that's the norm. I think most people would end up spending more um, if they're, you know, formula feeding than, than if they were just eating calories themselves, but uh, it, it's probably not impossible. So why does all of this matter, really? I mean, again, as I've said, breastfeeding is better than formula feeding, even if only marginally so, it is better. So why does this really matter? Uh, so this is a great quote from Questioning the Evidence for Breastfeeding at ScienceBasedMedicine.org. It's written by Harriet Hall. Harriet Hall, I have a love-hate relationship with. She has some really great, uh, interesting articles on a, a broad range of stuff. But then whenever it comes to vegan um, issues or anything to do with that, she's just so obviously anti-vegan. It's really annoying. There was a recent incident, uh, something she wrote about that was just so ridiculous. Um, whatever, I won't get into that here. I'll link it down below. Um, I learned about it from Jenny Messina who had tweeted about it. Whatever. But uh, this article is good, even though I'm not a huge fan of Harriet Hall. <laughs> this is a good article and I like this quote a lot. Breastfeeding entails sacrifices. It impacts jobs, working hours, and family income. Some women are physically unable to breastfeed and others find it impossible or impractical for other reasons. If there were a strong benefit to the health of children, society should do everything possible to facilitate and encourage breastfeeding. But if the benefit is minimal or questionable, it is wrong to overstate the evidence and make women who don't breastfeed feel guilty for endangering their child's health. Bottle feeding results in healthy babies too. So now, uh, soy formula. I've already talked about soy. I have a whole video on soy called Soy is Healthy, So Eat It or eat other beans instead, or eat both, whatever. That's my favorite, uh, that's my favorite video title, I think, of my own videos. I'm pretty proud of that one. Uh, where I talk about soy and I go into all the estrogen stuff, phytoestrogens and isoflavones and, and all different kinds of stuff. And then I also talk about infant soy formula in particular in my, uh, part one of my response to that stupid article, 10 reasons why I'll never be vegan. It's just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad, uh, but I have two videos. I think total it's like 40 minutes of uh, footage. It's kind of ridiculous, but I do talk about that in part one, um, and I, I even look at that again, uh, that myth soy gives babies, you know, estrogen levels that are 13,000 to 22,000 times higher than breastfed babies, which is not... They didn't look at estrogen levels. <laughs> they looked at phytoestrogens, isoflamones. Okay, whatever. Basically, according to... The experts, according to scientific consensus, soy infant formula is totally fine. This comes from the AAP, American Academy of Pediatrics. In term infants, although isolated soy protein-based formulas may be used to provide nutrition for normal growth and development, there are a few indications for their use in place of cow milk-based formula. These indications include A, for infants with galactosemia and hereditary lactase deficiency, and B, in situations in which a vegetarian diet is preferred. So they're not like recommending soy formula. They're like, it's the same as cow's milk unless you have, you know, uh, uh, lactase deficiency or if you are vegetarian and want to feed soy, then it's fine. Again, uh, it provides adequate nutrition for normal growth and development. So the last thing, uh, I guess, will I breastfeed or formula feed? I guess I already gave it away talking about the nursing bras, but um, yeah, I found it funny during the, the pregnancy announcement video where I just talked about formula feeding. A lot of people in the comments assumed that I was going to formula feed I never said that. People just hear what they want to hear, I guess. Um, and people were like really upset about it. It's weird. Um, no, actually, I have, I have no plans to feed a uh, formula. Um, I'm glad that there's soy there. It's available, but um, I do plan on breastfeeding, not because I'm super gung ho on breastfeeding, but because I have them here <laughs> and it's probably cheaper. That's the main thing for me um, is that it's it's probably cheaper. It's kind of like cloth diapering, uh, which we plan on doing as well. It's the big thing for me is cost. It is in that case so much cheaper, um, assuming that everything goes as planned. It's like way, way, way cheaper. And you aren't buying like the crazy, oh my God, some of these diapers are just like $25 for a fucking diaper cover. Seriously? Why? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Anyway, maybe that'll be a separate video. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I do plan on breastfeeding, but if things don't work, then yeah, soy formula is there. So that is awesome. So glad we have, we have that option. It's pretty dope.
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, and I will have a new video very soon.